do right there. Hello YouTube! Today all I'm doing for this video is telling you how excited I am that the Fault in Our Stars movie comes out in theaters tomorrow. As the majority of you, I've been waiting for this movie for months and I just, I can't wait to see it finally. I wish I could say that I am seeing it tomorrow or even on opening weekend, but of course finals are next week. So the plan is not to see it this weekend, but after all my finals are over I'm going to celebrate my hard work slash procrastination by seeing the movie. So. Yeah! So in honor of the Fault in Our Stars movie coming out tomorrow and in honor of Hazel Grace, I bought these Lancaster candies which I've been eyeing at Rite Aid forever but I have not eaten yet. I bought the vanilla raspberry flavored ones. I'm really excited to eat them. I don't really have a plan for this video except for talking about the Fault in Our Stars and eating sugar. Um, so yeah. I have no idea what's going to come out of my mouth. But I know what's going in it. And I really wish I could share this candy with you guys because I realize now that this whole video is not going to be us experiencing this candy. It's going to be me going one for me, and one for me, and the whole bag for me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. I hope you have something sweet to snack on. Alright, let's see. Mmm. Okay, so it's like taffy. I thought it was going to be the kind of candy that you suck on, but no, it's taffy. That's a surprise. I'm not a big fan of taffy, and I might have to wait to tell you about the book because now my mouth's all sticky, so uh, give me a minute. So I guess that's karma for me. I can't really eat that kind of candy and talk to you guys. I guess I'll have to wait to eat this candy till later. So I've noticed when books and movies and TV series and all these like new releases get a ton of hype, there is also, in addition with this large group of people who are part of the hype, a large group of people who are bent on destroying it. And I think that's just because they get really annoyed when they see a bunch of people excited about the same thing that they're not really excited for themselves. And then in here there's this middle group of people who are kind of indifferent, like, oh, I liked it, yeah, or like, oh, I haven't read it, or it's not really my thing, and that's fine. But with this group here, I just don't like it when people are so annoyed with people being excited that they just want to poop on their parade. And so they just start pointing out all the flaws and imperfections and problems with whatever they have with the book or series or movie, even if they haven't seen or read it. And from my point of view, that just kind of like does that to me. I like being excited about the things that I love. I think John Green actually said something about this in his videos once that nerds like us can be excited. But yeah, if there's like a book or TV series or movie that someone just doesn't like and they would like to politely discuss that their disappreciation for that thing, then that's okay with me, you know? I like having discussions with my friends about things that I don't like or things that they don't like that the other person really, really likes. But when you're just bashing that thing just for the sake of making the person who's excited about that thing less excited or dispirited... <sighs> like I said, obviously none of us are perfect and I don't think that imperfect people can create perfect things. So I've never come across a work of art that I would consider perfect, and that includes The Fault in Our Stars. But that being said, this is one of the best books that I have ever read, and I only have maybe like this much negative stuff to say about it. This book deserves all of the hype it's getting, in my opinion. I have been very much a part of this hype, and I would consider this video a large contribution to the hype. I'm gonna try to eat another candy to get my thoughts together. In my mind I had a lot of stuff I wanted to say, but I didn't write any of it down. So this is a result, just me eating and holding up a book and telling you it's awesome. Which is pretty much all I wanted to do anyway, so I'm going to be reading The Fault in Our Stars for the third time this summer for my young adult lit class. I read it when it first came out in January of 2012. I ordered a copy on Amazon, so I got a signed copy, and then I got a second copy at The Fault in Our Stars tour, and of course I had to get a Hankler fish along with another signature. I went to the Fault in Our Stars tour with the Nerd Fighter Club of my university and we had an awesome time. We danced in the aisles. When I got my book signed, I didn't think I was going to get as nervous as I did to meet Hank and John, but I got really nervous and I was just like, okay, I only have a couple seconds to say something and I don't want to say something dumb and I don't want to just stand there and stare and, you know, be dumbstruck. So when I got there, I like forgot what I was going to say and then all of a sudden I was just like, I really liked your book! John kind of looked at me like, well, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's a fun memory, me acting like an idiot in front of one of my favorite authors. I'm a shy person, so I don't speak much anyway, so speaking to people 
who I am already nervous about speaking to makes me even more nervous and then and then I don't know what happens after that. I embarrass myself, I guess. I have gone on so many tangents in the past 10 minutes that I don't even know how I'm going to format this thing. I really wish I enjoyed these because I want to eat them. Anyway, I'm really, really, really excited to see this movie next week. Let me know if you've read the book. Let me know if you cried while reading the book. Let me know if you're excited about seeing the movie. Let me know if there are finals preventing you as well from seeing this movie this weekend and we can complain about it in the comments together. Thank you for watching this video. Spring quarter is almost over so I'll be able to be part of booktube and vlog some more and I'm really excited to have more time to do that this summer. Also on a side note I am currently writing a song that's based off the Fault in Our Stars and I don't know when it's going to be finished because I want it to be good but I am planning on finishing it at the very latest by the time that The Fault in Our Stars goes out to DVD just to celebrate that release. So keep an eye out for that. I'm really excited about the song. I think it's going to celebrate the book well. Goodbye, YouTube! I'm going to try that fancy thing that you guys have been doing, but I don't think I can reach the camera.